Ardita's height is strictly between 60 and 66 inches. Let h equal Ardita's height in inches. Write an inequality to represent the scenario. Let's first graph the values between 60 and 66. Because the values are strictly between 60 and 66, we would not include the endpoints of 60 and 66. So let's say on the number line we have 60 here and 66 here. To graph all the values strictly between 60 and 66, to show that the endpoints are not included, we would make an open point on 60, an open point on 66, and then graph the interval between those two values. And now as an inequality, we are going to have a compound inequality where h, our d this height in inches, is greater than 60 and less than 66. Using inequality symbols, we can start with h and write the first inequality to the left where h is greater than 60. And then for h less than 66, we go back to the variable and write the inequality from left to right where h is less than 66. So this is our compound inequality where h is greater than 60 and less than 66. Is the inequality true or false for the boundary value h equals 60? Because h has to be greater than 60, it can't equal 60, and therefore the inequality is false for h equals 60. Enter any value of h that will make the inequality true. The inequality is true for any value between 60 and 66. For example, the inequality is true for 63 because 63 is greater than 60 and less than 66. Next, enter any value of h that will make the inequality false. The inequality is false for any value not strictly between 60 and 66, meaning it would have to be less than or equal to 60 or greater than or equal to 66. Let's just say 50. 50 makes the inequality false because 50 is not greater than 60 and less than 66. Let's look at one more example. Sumba biked at least 32 miles today, but less than 52 miles. If you look at this on the number line, let's say this is 32 and this is 52. She biked at least 32 miles, meaning she could have biked exactly 32 miles or more. So we make a closed point on 32, showing 32 is part of the solution. But we're also told she biked less than 52 miles. Because she biked less than 52 miles, she could not have biked 52 miles, and therefore we make an open point on 52, and then graph all the values between 32 and 52. This is the graph of the solution, which we need to express as a compound inequality using the variable m. So we start with the variable m, and the first inequality is formed from the right to the left, where m must be greater than or equal to 32, and less than 52. So going back to the variable and writing the inequality from the left to the right, we have m less than 52. So this is the compound inequality where m is greater than or equal to 32 and less than 52, which satisfies these conditions. Is this inequality true or false for the boundary value m equals 52? Because it says less than 52, m equals 52 makes the inequality false. 52 is not less than 52, which we also show graphically using the open point. Enter any value of m that will make the inequality true. The inequality is true for any value of m that's greater than or equal to 32 and less than 52, let's say 36. 36 makes the inequality true because 36 is greater than or equal to 32 and less than 52. And then finally, Enter any value of m that will make the inequality false. The inequality is false when m is less than 32 or when m is greater than or equal to 52. So let's just say 10. The inequality is false when m is 10 because 10 is not greater than or equal to 32 and less than 52. I hope you found this helpful.